Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim my dear students assalamu alaikum and welcome to all in my virtual class i am shah jalal ahmed pial lecturer in finance and banking milestone college uttara i hope all are fine and well by the grace of almighty allah dear students let's start the class my dear students today i will discuss present value annuity this is the chapter number 3 time value of money today's topics what is annuity explain the types of annuity formula of present value ordinary annuity and also a mathematical problem of present value annuity so first we will learn what is annuity an annuity is a contract to get guarantee a series of structured payments over time it starts at a predetermined date and lasts for a predetermined time characteristics of annuity and annuity has three chief characteristics first this is a payment against a large obligation second is payment is an annuity is the same amount finally is payment period is fixed to the same interval this can be a monthly quarterly or weekly payment if a payment happens on an irregular pattern or fixed to some factor other than time it is not an annuity types of annuity there are two main types of annuity one the ordinary annuity and two the annuity due what is the ordinary annuity an ordinary annuity is a series of equal payments made at the end of consecutive periods over a fixed length of time and the annuity due the opposite of an ordinary annuity is an annuity due in which payments are made at the beginning of each period now we will learn the formula of present value annuity for ordinary annuity equal multiple deposit or return at the ending of the year and yearly compounding this is the formula of ordinary annuity of present value pba equals to a into 1 minus 1 divided 1 plus i power n all divided by i here pba equals to present value annuity that means ordinary annuity a equals to amount of installments I equals to rate of interest or discounting rate. N equals to number of year. Now the formula number two for monthly compounding of ordinary annuity. Equal multiple deposit or return at ending of the month. Monthly compounding. 
there the another formula of present value annuity for monthly compounding PPA equals to A put into 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus I divided by M e power M into N all divided by I divided by M here PPA equals to present real energy A equals to amount of installment I equals to rate of interest or discounting rate N equals to number of year and M equals to number of compounding or installment in a year now we solve a problem of ordinary annuity related here in the questions Mr. Kamal is a farmer he has stuck a one lakh to invest his brother has suggested him to invest the money in fishery from this sector he will get taka 32,000 from it at the end of each year for the next five years on the other hand his friend has advised him to establish a poultry farm. He will get Taka 3000 from uh, poultry business at the end of the each month for the next five years. Expected rate of return is 10% in both cases. Dear students, look at the problem. Here are two investment sectors first fishery and second poultry farm both are annuity because uh, uh, from both uh, fisheries uh, return will be multiple time 32,000 in every year and another um, from poultry also return in multiple time in every month for next five years so both are annuity now the requirement according to advice of Kamal's brother what will be the present value of cash in flow second one will it be logical for Kamal to invest in poultry farm show a logic to support your answer now we'll solve questions first present value of cash inflows of fisheries business we know present value of ordinary annuity for yearly installment or compounding the formula is present value a annuity equals to a into 1 minus 1 divided 1 plus i power n divided by i Given that the question amount of installment here installment yearly amount of yearly installment taka 32,000 rate of interest I equals to 10% or 0 0.10 number of year is 5 and we will record present below ordinary annuity now we will putting the value in the formula a equals to 32,000 and i equals to 0 0.10 power n equals to 5 divided by 0 0.10 from uh, calculations after calculation we will get the value of present value annuity of fisheries business 1 lakh 21,305. So the present value of cash inflows of fisheries business is Taka 1 lakh 21,305. Now we solve the poultry business. Present value of cash inflows for poultry business 
we know present value of ordinary annuity for monthly installments the students quality uh, business cash inflows are monthly basis so we use monthly basis formula for annuity here present value annuity equals to a into 1 minus 1 divided 1 plus i divided m power m into n divided by i divided by m given that amount of monthly installment equals to taka 3000 in the questions rate of interest 10 percent number of year also five years and number of installment in year 12 because monthly installment and we will require present bill ordinary annuity or ppa now we will putting the value in the formula a equals to a equals to 3000 into 1 minus 1 divided by i equals to 0 0.10 divided by m equals to 12 power 12 into 5 years divided by 0 0.10 by 12 after calculation we will find the value of present value annuity per month installment is data uh, 1,41,196. Uh, so the present value of quality business is data 1,41,196. Uh, so Mr. Kamal will be invested in his part in quality business because the present value of quality business is higher than the present value of fishery business. Dear students, I hope all understand what is the annuity and how to solve the uh, present value annuity um, related questions. So, my dear students, thank you and goodbye.